Welcome to another episode of Gaming and Performance. This is your host, and I am back with a, another video on how to improve your gameplay experience by removing stutter and hitching. Today's date is May 21st, 2020, so let's begin. I have found something very interesting about Windows Defender and Windows 10. It comes with a feature that is supposed to protect you from exploits, and part of that protection is called ASLR, Dress Space Layout Randomization. It executes codes on the OS using a random memory address. People have been disabling this feature, and by doing so, they have noticed an improvement in the games they're playing. I'm going to go ahead and show you how to disable this, and then I'm going to give you some form posts on testimonies on what effect it has had with them. What you want to do is start off by going into your start search and type in exploit protection. Once you do so, you'll be presented with a screen similar to this. What you want to do is under system settings, make sure every option is off or set to off by default. For some of you, this may actually be the case, but there's some of you that is going to say on by default, turn them off. I'm going to go to the bottom portion of this. And as you can see, make sure all of it is off. That's it. There's nothing else to it. You don't have to change, uh, rename files or change uh, registry edits or anything like that. That's all you have to do. Now, keep in mind, you are disabling the exploit protection that Windows offers in their Windows Defender. So you keep that in mind when you use this tweak to try to get better performance and immersion out of your games. Now I'm going to go and show you some posts that explain some of this and show you some of the benefits that they received by doing this. Now one person here who says I confirmed to fix my stutter in BF1. The free memory is still around zero but it does not stutter. And he asked somebody to confirm this and one person says that they've tried it with Division 2 and it is now smooth with playing that game. And they tried BF5. Again, very smooth gameplay. One person advises that if you want to check to see what applications and games are compatible with ASLR or have the ASLR flag, you use a program called Process Explorer and just add the ASLR column to Process Explorer and it will give you a description if the protection feature is enabled for that particular game or app. This one post explains that uh, they've gone through and tried to verify that this actually worked. They use their protection and exceptions, which says that when they play their games with protection and exceptions enabled, it's a stuttery mess, but protections and exceptions enabled along with a program called Intelligent Standby List Cleaner. It's stutter free, but huge CPU spikes at cleans, which means that every time it actually cleans the memory from standby, it causes a spike. When they say there's no protection, all is fine. So I'm not going to read verbatim what they post, but basically they're confirming that this tweak actually improved their performance and immersion by removing stutter in the games that they play. Here's another post that says uh, they played the game called Quantum Break. I'm not sure if any of you are familiar with Quantum Break on Windows Store version, but they said it was a stuttery mess when they tried this tweak. It actually is very smooth. And they also said even in Assassin's Creed Odyssey, it's very smooth. So this tweak has helped a lot of people. And here's another post saying that they've uh, played Insurgency Squad Assassin's Creed Odyssey, Far Cry 5, Division 2, Blair Witch, Destiny 2. After performing this tweak, all their games are now smooth. So this really does work, and I would suggest you give this some consideration, knowing the caveat of what you actually are doing, which is disabling the exploit protection for more smoother gameplay experience. And I'm going to read this one last post and basically stop there because that basically sums it up. He says, so ASLR... With high entropy, ASLR bottom-up, which is a feature found in the Windows Defender, and CFG all cause stutters in games and leads to measurable, at least for CFG, less performance as we have seen in the past. Basically, what this all boils down to is that for whatever reason, this 
is interfering in games that you play and it will create stutter. Now, this is all dependent also on what kind of PC you have or laptop that you're using. If you have a very powerful PC or CPU, this may not affect you. You may not even have this problem, but for those who are on four core, eight thread CPUs, for example, or six core, 12 thread CPUs, this may be something that you might want to consider, even just to test to see if whether or not that it fixed your stutter problems that you may have been experiencing. So that's basically it that I have for you today, folks. Have a nice day.